Bonjour everyone, this is Marianne Lecoeur of HowToBeChicAndElegant.com And today in this video, we're going to talk about a very important topic which is about, you know, getting into debt for fashion. So if you are new to my channel, a big welcome to you. Please subscribe and click on the little bell for notifications. Thank you. So for all of you who watched my previous video, which was entitled How to Look Expensive, Advice from a French woman. Thank you very much for watching and commenting on this video, which was about more about getting into style than looking expensive. So I've received many comments and also some comments about how you know some of you are getting into that for fashion. Also, you know, some of you know some people who are you know spending too much, overspending on items like you know every week or a few times a week over and over again and are in danger of getting into debt so many people are finding that they are heavily influenced by the peer group of course but also by adverts that are popping from everywhere whenever you are online and also for the new collections by also the large holes that they see by you know, done by YouTube influencers or even on Instagram. So some people find it very easy to follow this kind of trend of buying, buying, buying so often that they feel that, you know, they have to follow everybody and they are overspending, they are getting into debt and, you know, they don't know how to break out of that cycle. So the reasons to overspend and buying, buying, buying into the new fashion, the new trends, could be because you know um, you are looking maybe for quality. But I always say to buy the quality you can afford because there is a range of prices for quality, and you know just pick the range of prices you can afford. You know, never go above what you can afford. I always, always advise this. It's very important, okay? And always ensure that this, this investment piece can be worn over and over again, okay? So that this price becomes the value, okay? It is valued highly because you wear it often. And because you can wear it often, this price will be divided by the times you wear this item. For instance, right now I'm wearing my favorite white jeans. Okay, they are from Hilfiger, but they were less than $100, and I bought them, uh, I think, seven years ago in New York City. But I have been wearing these white pairs of jeans, you know, every summer, and they still because they are good quality. It's a thick cotton. It's you know, it wears well, it washes well. So this was, this was a quality piece. But, you know, now, every time I wear it, it costs me really, literally, you know, centimes, it got me cents, because I wear it often. And this is why cost per wear is very important. Because if you buy something at $100, but wear it only once, this piece will have cost you $100. But if you wear it 10 times, it will cost you $10. And if you, wear it, if you wear it 100 times, it would cost you $1 every time you wear it. Okay, so this is really important to remember. I like to think of cost per wear, especially for investment pieces, quality pieces. Another question to ask yourself if you are overspending, if you are putting yourself into debt or in danger of getting into debt for fashion, for overbuying, is to ask yourself the question, why? Why are you doing all these purchases, these repeat purchases? And maybe they are expensive pieces you buy that are over your price range. Or maybe it's many, you know, um, items of a smaller price, but there are so many that really it's a lot of money at the end of the month. So ask yourself the question, why are you doing this? Is this to follow your peers, you know, follow your friends, maybe, or the group you are hanging out with. Or maybe you are heavily influenced by the videos you're watching, you know, those large clothes holes. I have seen, not even watching a video, but just looking at the thumbnail of that video. And you see that person holding 
so many huge bags. And that, you know, if you, if you follow things like that, thinking that it is the things to do, well, you are in danger of overbuying, of getting into debt and becoming really unhappy, be becoming in trouble for this. So ask yourself why, you know, and are you maybe influenced by advert? You know, this advert that popping over everything. So you need to ask yourself the question why. This is very important. And also it could be because, you know, by buying clothes more often, new clothes, you know, the new collections, you are probably trying to, to feel beautiful, to feel confident, because you're going to wear new clothes. But you know that confidence boost, if you buy all the time, all the time, very, you know, very often, to boost your self-confidence, you know, that means that that confidence doesn't last. So it's a, just a boost and it's a bit like a sugar rush. You know, you get that sugar rush and it's like this very much. So to have that confidence boost, that confidence rush, you buy and afterwards it's, a, you know, you're falling right down again to where you were before. And of course, this is compounding with an element of guilt because you know that you have overspent. So you have this confident boost, you know, followed by this if I follow that is four, you know, by this drop, of almost like a, a drop in sugar, by this drop and, you know, loss of confidence again, and I did with this element of guilt, you know, you're feeling bad because you have spent all that money with, you know, for clothes you're not even wearing, because you will wear them for a few days and afterwards you need to buy some more to fill yourself again with that confidence, you know. There's, there's a hole somewhere that needs to be filled and you think that overspending and buying all these clothes, that, that will fill that hole. So I'm going, in the next part of this video, I'm going to talk about the remedies, what you can do to stop this. So if you have recognized yourself so far, let's see now what you can do to stop this. So, what I mentioned before, you know, this kind of a sugar rush, this confidence boost, I find, and I'm not, I'm not a, a psychologist by any means, but I recognize it a little bit like an addiction, you know, the shopaholic, because it's difficult to, to stop it, and it's a behavior, and you do it again and again and again to feel better, to feel this void, and you don't know how, you know, what to stop, and sometimes, even then, you may not even recognize that you're actually doing it. So the first thing to do is recognize it. Recognize that this is a behavior you are engaging in, you know, especially repeat behavior. And almost like automatic, sometimes you may not even think about that you're doing it and then you're receiving this parcel to the post and you think, oh, did I buy that? You know, are you recognizing it? Are you recognizing every step? Of this behavior. So, you know, this is the first step to recognize it. So, an exercise you could do, for instance, is go to your closet, open the doors, okay? Open the doors and really look at it face on. Look at the inside of your wardrobe because if you have been engaging in this overbuying, because you, you know, you may receive the bills in the post, and you may have a look at your bank statement, and oh, you know, something is happening. So, once you recognize this behavior, open the door to your closet and have a look at all your purchases. What are you saying? And it may be difficult, because sometimes if you feel you've got this guilt of overbuying, you may not even open the doors fully. Please click below if that is something you do. Do you maybe you know, get your, your shopping bags or your parcel, put them aside, not even look inside, because I know some, some women do that and don't even look at the shopping. So, you know, if you cram everything in, open, it might be difficult for you, but open the wardrobe, open the drawers, have a look at everything you have, because you need to see it. It's almost like going cold turkey, you need to, you know, to see it, to actually believe it and you know, recognizing you're actually doing this. You are overbuying, you're getting into debt. You know, you're having maybe problems with your bank manager, your bank, man bank manager may be calling you or emailing you. You know, your bills are not paid, what is happening? 
and it is a big 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 problem and I know you may have a number of credit cards it's very easy to get credit cards you know but so you have to face it you know head on so now what do you see what do you see a sea of things that you probably do not wear some of this you will not even have worn even once because you know you just received it and then you have just done another shopping before maybe you even receive that parcel so other things arrive or you've been shopping you know you arrive with your shopping bag and you're having them in your hallway there's a parcel waiting for you you see and oh so all this escalate escalate and you have so many things now that it's a mountain of things okay so this is the first thing to do you could even do this in front of your clothes and say I will do something like my name is Marianne and I am a shopaholic something like that and a legit to put yourself okay in front of your clothes in front of you know the results of what is happening okay um, you know in the um, in the job I'm doing it will be very easy for me to get into debt because I need a certain amount of, of clothes to be able to show you know show them on videos and you know to, to teach people how to create outfits but you know I never 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 you know going to debt for my clothes I never buy above what I can afford and maybe because you know being being French, being brought up in France, it is something that we are brought up with. We never go again, you know, it tells what I was saying in my previous video about how to look expensive. You know, we don't um, buy above what we can afford. We don't overbuy. Um, and, you know, it is something that is, you can see with my clothes, with my wardrobe. And, you know, it is something I would love to teach you. So now you are faced with your problem, your, your wardrobe, and you have so many things. Okay, so now do not panic. You know, help is at hand and I'm here to help you. You know, okay, I'm with you here. I am with you. I'm holding your hands. I'm holding you by the shoulders while you are facing your multiple purchases. The first thing to do, you know, you are facing that. Now you have acknowledge your, your addiction to shopping. You know, it is... Especially at the moment that it was commercial and, you know, this online shopping, it is so easy to shop. And even in the sales, you think, oh, I've saved so much money by buying the sales. Yes. You have spent a lot of money thinking we're saving a lot of money because if you buy even in the sale for things that you wear or you would have bought anyway in full price, that's great. But if you buy in the sale but indiscriminately, it is exactly the same problem as if you were buying things at full price, okay? So, with all these things, it is so easy to overspend. So, don't think it is all your fault. It is easy to be, to be, to be led to overspending, you see? So, it is not all your fault. So, you have already advanced a few steps already, okay? As I say, help is at hand. I'm going to help you. So, now what you need to do is Stop the behavior. Stop it, stop it, stop it. You can even, you know, take a pair of scissors and, you know, we all know, you know, cut a few of these credit cards. Because don't forget that credit, you end up paying so much more interest and you will end up paying more and more and more and more interest. Interest accrued, accrued, you know. Even more than the, the amount of clothes that you have will accrue really, really fast. So, you know, you can even go cold turkey with you know your for instance your um, um you know which social media you on that you think or you know make you overbuy is it instagram is it youtube maybe or is it some newsletters you receive is it some online shopping that sends you the advert you know you can unsubscribe from those news newsletters because if you you know it's easy you know, you receive those newsletters, oh, there's a sale on, or oh, have you seen this newsletter? Oh, everybody's buying this, who's oh, popular buys? Many people like to buy what other people buy. I never do this. I never buy what, you know, the popular buys, because many times it's not my taste. You see, you have to consider your taste and your style. So, 
all these popular choices and unsubscribe, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. You know, if you see, if you're part of a group of people with a buy, try to see them maybe a little bit less. You know, stop going to the shopping excursions. Stop going to, to the mall for a little bit, you know, until you know that you have more, um, that you are more in control of your shopping habits. Okay? So in conclusion, you see, you have now a knowledge, you have an uh, over-shopping problem, shopaholic problem. So you've opened your wardrobe, you have actually seen the extent of your shopping habits. And now you, are, you have stopped. You see, this is important. You have to stop this uh, buying. Okay, you have to recognize it. But if you don't stop, you know, you're going to carry on. So please, please stop. Just stop buying. Not one more. I know it's this sale season, but not even one pair of sock extra. Because you probably have dozens of socks. <laughs> so, so stop buying because you are more important than fashion. Do not put yourself into debt and maybe even, you know, get into problem in your life for fashion. It is never, never worth it. I always, you know, look chic and elegant on a budget, my budget. You see? So, you have plenty of clothes to get on with, you know, have a look around, have a look what you're going to wear, what is, what is you. You need to go to think about where you are on your style journey. Because I am pretty sure that with all the clothes you have bought, many of them are not you. You see, because it becomes so automatic that you buy, you buy, you buy, but it is not you. So you have to think about the person you are now, the person you want to, to become. You know, uh, you need to think about uh, how you want to portray yourself, how do you want to feel, you know, confidence. We are talking about the confidence before. Which type of clothes make you feel confident? Can you wear them? Do you feel good and bad? Are they real you? They have to be really you. They have to be comfortable for you to, to be in. So that you feel the confidence. Okay? So it works from within and, you know, without. You see? In and out. It works, you know, style works, you know, the inside out and the outside in. So I hope you found this, this topic, this video useful for you. Because I have received, you know, some comments and, you know, also private messages, private emails. And that's really emotional messages that, you know, that let me know that many of you have this problem. And, you, you, you know, you, you need some help. You, you don't know how to, to go about it. It is very, very difficult. Uh, but very, I think it's a problem that's maybe even endemic. So I hope you found this video and this topic helpful to you if you are into overshopping, if you are, you know, if you have realized by now that you are getting into debt and you are overbuying. So, you know, the first step, of course, is to recognize you have a problem. And if you are already, you know, watching this video, you are already recognizing this is what you are doing. But the next important step is to stop the spending. It will be difficult, it will be extremely difficult, but you need to stop. Please. I have had many emotional, you know, uh, messages, you know, via email, and also some comments, you know, that many of you have this problem and you don't know what to do. You know, it's, it is so difficult. So many people are into debt and they don't know how to get out of it. The first thing to do, you know, is to, you have recognized yourself in a problem if you're watching my video, but the first thing to do, I urge you to stop, you know, please stop this spending. Because it will not get any better by itself. You can't just close your eyes and hoping it will stop. You know, you need to actively stop and you have to be strong. And you have to say, no, <laughs> no more shopping, no more spending. Even if you have to go in front of your mirror and say, okay, I'm going to say, give it as example as me, Marianne, stop this spending. 
okay, and takes the next steps. Unsubscribe from newsletters, unsubscribe from the ads. Ooh, oh, don't go online. <laughs> that would be a difficult thing to do. No, no, but you know, try to address everything that leads you to that shopping, leads you to over shopping. Okay? So thank you very much for watching. It was a very important message to you and I hope I managed to help you in some way. You know, fashion is never worth getting into debt for. I really, no, never, you know. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. Please comment below letting me know, you know, how are you getting on? Do you have this problem? Or do you know somebody who has this problem? Or, you know, even if you don't know anybody, or if you haven't got this problem, please let me know what you think about this video and, you know, getting into debt for fashion. Thank you very much for watching. A bientôt.